Hello, I'm joined today by Professor René Rizzoli, Honorary Professor at the University of Geneva's Department of Internal Medicine Specialties. Bone health is a critical consideration today, with data suggesting that the level of bone fractures across the EU is high, particularly associated with an aging population. Today, we'll discuss the current evidence about factors that are beneficial for bone health, the role of coffee and caffeine, and the advice that practitioners can give to their patients. With our aging population, bone health is becoming a key consideration for healthcare professionals, both in terms of encouraging bone health and managing those who suffer from osteoporosis. Can you give us some background about osteoporosis and an indication of the scale of the issue across Europe? Osteoporosis is a weakening of the bone structure, which increases the risk of fracture. With the aging of the population, the risk of a fracture is higher and higher. And presently in the EU, there are 3.5 million new fragile fractures occurring annually, and the costs associated with this fracture are around uh, 37 billion of euro. Now, there are both dietary and lifestyle factors involved in promoting good bone health. Can you describe the key factors that are important for bone health? A balanced diet containing enough calcium, enough protein and vitamin D uh, is mandatory to maintain bone health. And the source of these nutrients is particularly dairy products, which contain not only calcium, protein and vitamin D, but other nutrients like potassium and magnesium, which are a major importance for bone health. But in addition, we know that lifetime factors are important too. For example, weight-bearing exercise help to maintain bone health. Let's move on to talk about coffee consumption and bone health. What components of coffee have been studied, and is it likely that any of these components interact with bone structure and impact on bone health? Interactions between coffee components and bone health are quite unclear. However, a negative association between caffeine intake and bone mineral density has been suggested. But for these associations, we are relying on observational studies and we are missing randomized controlled trials which have the highest degree of conviction in evidence-based medicine. Could you give me an overview of the research between coffee consumption and bone health? Some studies have suggested an increased risk of fracture in women, but not in men, in whom it could even be protective, although the results of other studies are quite valuable. A review of the effect on caffeine on bone health have suggested potentially negative effects on bone mineral density particularly in population with a low calcium intake or in the population with very high coffee consumption, for instance, like nine cups of coffee a day or even more. Based on this uh, inconclusive data, further research is clearly needed. So what advice should healthcare professionals be giving to their patients when they're discussing coffee intakes and bone health? Well, at the present time, there is no evidence that drinking coffee in moderation, let's say three to five cups a day, has an adverse effect on bone health. And in addition, when we add some milk to the coffee, this could help to preserve the bone integrity. And in addition, we should also encourage our patients to promote bone health by regular physical activity, adequate calcium intakes, and enough vitamin D production for instance, by the exposure to sun sun, which is the main factor stimulating vitamin D production in the skin. That's really interesting. Thank you, Renny, for your time. It's good to speak to you. You're welcome.